Hello everyone, in this video we will uh, try to simplify the concept of Campbell diagram. It is a pretty old concept but then it is very difficult to sometimes understand this diagram. Um, this is an excellent article written by Benner et al. It was published in Critical Care Medicine in 2014 and is the basis of much of the discussions that I that we'll be having in this presentation. A few things about work of breathing. <clears throat> As we all know, work of breathing is the work done by our respiratory muscles to inspire and expire. Um, in physics, it is the product of force and distance. If we extrapolate force as a product of pressure and area, then we get work of breathing to be a product of pressure and volume. In other words, it is the area enclosed in pressure volume loop or the Campbell diagram. Work of breathing is largely physiologic and imposed. Imposed is nothing but the additional load that is imposed on the muscles by the cir ventilator circuit endotracheal tube resistance and all. Physiologic work of breathing is largely against the elastic properties of the tissues, the lungs and the chest wall and the resi resistance of the airway. Coming to the proper uh, Campbell diagram, it is, it, it is a graph with uh, plural pressure on the x-axis and the percentage of vital capacity on the y-axis. For the sake of simplicity, we will first see how mm, the compliance curve of lung is uh, achieved and then we will throw in the compliance curve of chest wall and onto it. Some important concept is that the elastic recoil of the lung is inwards and the elastic recoil of the chest wall is outwards, which are opposite to each other. So suppose we we put a lung inside a container which is capable of generating a negative pressure. So when the negative pressure, when the pressure outside the lungs will be zero, the volume inside will be zero. So we'll plot it in the graph as follows. Here. Now as we start decreasing the pressure or generating the negative pressure around the lung, the lung volume expands. Somewhere here when the negative pressure around the lungs is minus 5, the volume inside the lungs is at FRC and somewhere here it is the tidal volume plus FRC which is around 50% of the vital capacity. <clears throat> so if you plot this area, this is the work done by our respiratory muscles to generate this negative pressure to expand the lungs from FRC to tidal volume. So this is the elastic work done by our lungs. Coming to the chest wall, as we know, as we have already discussed, the chest wall recoil is opposite to that of the lungs. <clears throat> so some of the elastic work done by the musculature to expand the lung is relieved by the elastance of the chest wall which is which wants to recoil outwards so if we have the compliance curve of the chest wall here as well it will be something like this so this this area has to be subtracted from the work of breathing because this is helping our respiratory muscles to expand the lungs outwards. So we negate this area from the work of breathing area. So the elastic work done by the lungs, done by the muscles to expand the lung against the elastic properties is this yellow enclosed area. To throw in the resistive work, the resistive work is mostly done during inspiration to generate a flow against the Resist, resistance of the airways. So this green area is the resistive work done. So this is the <clears throat> this green area is the resistive work. This yellow area is the elastic work done to expand the lungs. So this is Campbell diagram in short. So again what we see here is the green area is the resistive work 
this is the FRC the inspiration begins and this is where the inspiration ends to tidal volume this line is the represents the lung compliance and this line represents the chest wall compliance now what happens in different disease states <clears throat> say the lung compliance decreases from here to here now to achieve the same tidal volume the elastic work increases so the work of breathing increases again in obese patients when the chest wall compliance decreases again the work of breathing increases if there is a obstructive lung disease the resistive work the resistive work increases so much so that th there is a component now in the expiration as well this is the positive pressure that has to be actively generated by the respiratory muscles to overcome the expiratory resistance as well so the work of breathing increases thank you